What's up everybody, it is Daydreams. Welcome back to the channel for another Clash of Kings video. If you're new here, please hit that red subscribe button down below and tell your alliance about the channel. We do daily videos, we do live streams for every Dragon Campaign, Kingdom Conquest, every major event. And today's video is very important, guys, because you heard me mention that I'm trying to get private events into the game. So basically, myself or anyone else can host a private event, let's say the Dragon Campaign, and then... Um, all of our friends from other kingdoms or can come play or we could do scrimmages against other uh, alliances in different kingdoms so the way I'm thinking this would work the reason I'm making this video first off guys is I need to create some noise and what we're gonna do is I'm gonna have you guys comment your thoughts and some ideas in the description as well and we're going to send it over to um, the big dogs over at Clash of Kings. So we're going to um, basically do a mini make Clash of Kings great again. But we just I want this in the game really bad. It's going to be a way I'm going to be able to interact with you guys. You're going to be able to interact with your friends from other kingdoms. And people are going to be able to host private events. So I'm going completely off the top of my head here. So basically here are the different things. You've got Dragon Campaign, Ancient Battlefield, the playoff of the dragon campaign then you got this blank space there and you got kingdom conquest so in this blank space or you create another one you could put private events so basically obviously we have to think of it from the business standpoint the only way we're going to make this work is if it's business if it's smart for business for the developers they'll they're in this business to make money believe it or not so what we're gonna have to do is think of a way that they can make money so First off, the person who creates the event could pay a certain amount of gold. Or they could, like, okay, so let's say 10,000 gold, 15,000 gold at, at the high end. So I think, you know, 30 to $50, that's, you know, how much gold, 30,000 gold is $100. So 10 to 15,000 is 30 to $50 worth of gold. So I think that's a lot of money to rent out an event for two hours, I'd say. So you could create the event area here. Now what you else you could do is let's say for like half of that someone um, an alliance can post to look for um, someone to scrimmage against. So let's say us AOK -okay from 440 we have 750,000 power. Say we want to post on to here. We want to post that we want to scrimmage. We're looking for a scrimmage on Wednesday um, you know November 3rd. Okay? So what someone else will do someone else with the same or close to the same power as us so some of the same like power players as us could see that and then we each pay 7,500 gold 15,000 gold total and then we're scheduled at whatever time it's agreed on so um you know then when you go there you'll see a list of people who are looking for dragon campaign scrimmages so they're going to be able to make some money off this i promise you now guys how many of you have friends in another kingdom every one of you do Imagine how fun it would be to play some private events with your friends from other kingdoms. Now, obviously, if this happens, I'll be playing, I'll be hosting, like, Dragon Campaigns two or three to four times a week where I can play with you guys. And, um, basically, here's how you would have it set up. Look, this is, like, the easiest way I can think of it, uh, for, like, a private Dragon Campaign. So, I pay 15,000 gold. That's $50 out of my pocket to make this happen. So, um... To me, it's worth it because I'm going to get to interact with you guys and we're going to get to have fun. So, um, it's uh, 50 versus 50. So, 100 people are going to sign up. I'm going to basically give out a code um, or I can you can invite people. You can, um, you know, click on their castle, go to their coordinates, click on their castle and sign them up. And or you can have people, um, you know, apply to get in it. And then the moderator, like me, and I can like select moderators can then approve of people. So, we can make sure that it's the people from, in our instance, the live streams or the channel. I'll make sure it's my subscribers that are coming to play in the event. And then we can basically, there could be a button to where it automatically creates, um, you know, fair teams, like separates the prestige fives, separates it by power so that there's equal power on each team, equal prestige fives are close to it on each team. Or we can have it where um, the moderator selects a team. So I could just split it up myself. Either way is fine, um, and I think there should be an option for either, or at least where you could just pick the teams yourselves. So, I think it'd be really good, guys. And there's two different ways, reasons this would be great. 
One, people want to scrimmage. There's a lot of off time, guys. There's a lot of dead kingdoms. There's a lot of people bored. And if you can create something where people that are bored can always go and find an event, and maybe you could join other people's events. Say, I'm bored one night, and I've got nothing to do, and I come here to the private dragon campaigns, and I click it, and then I see that there's like, um, you know, 10, let's say 10 different events, and I click on one, and there's room for a few people, and I click, and I join it, and then I get to play a dragon campaign. Now, if Clash of Kings really wanted to get people hyped to make it fun for everyone, they would give rewards out. They don't have to. Um, I think it would be nice, and I think that would be a great way for people to really, really start to support this game. We're going to have to think of a way to take this game to either esports level, or it's going to die out. Like, uh, you know, Vainglory, Clash Royale, all of these massive games right now the, that have huge followings, they're, they're very popular. Now, I understand that Clash of Kings makes a lot of money, and it makes a lot of money for now, but if the people start to get bored and it's not as fun as it used to be, then it's not going to make money in the future. So Clash of Kings needs to think outside the box and get innovative. This is a way to get innovative. This is ways to where people from other kingdoms, friends from other kingdoms, can get together and play a fun event. So, you know, I know they're doing working on like the two to five player team matchups, whatever. This is something they could do for now while we're waiting. That wouldn't be that hard. They already have the Dragon Campaign created. All they would have to do is create the little portal here to where it would link you up um, and create a list where you could either post for a scrimmage or you can um, create a private event. We're paying for it. We're willing to pay for the server space. So why wouldn't they do this? I don't think there's any reason that they should turn this down and why they should tell us no. If they do turn it down, then they obviously don't care for what the players want. Because I know all of you guys are excited to do it. And that's why we're going to go ahead and we're going to spit... We're going to spam nicely on all their social media, Facebook, Twitter. Um, I need you guys all to leave comments. Sma smash the thumbs up button so this shows up in the uh, feeds on YouTube. We're going to make sure they see this. We're going to make sure it gets translated into English. And we're going to make sure that we have private events in the game. Now, um, you know, there could be, there's so many different, um, you know, there's so many different things they could do with private events. Um, you know you could create um, a private event now I don't know how much server space it would take to do it like where you could create maybe private ancient battlefields you could probably maybe create like um, a private kingdom where you guys could go and maybe rent it out for you know what I'm getting way off topic that would be way more complicated than the dragon campaign the dragon campaign is already created all they have to do is create a structure create a way that people can get into the events and create a system like how much we pay to do it you could create $100 packs that have three um like okay so say i bought this pack but instead of the magic stones it has three um things that'll let you create um private events so stuff like that guys it's, this would really make the game better i have a really hard time um getting to play with you guys and have fun with you guys so this would be a great way where we're bored during the weekdays when we're bored when there's no events um on the off week of the kingdom conquest and all that stuff this is a great way that we could stay for one um keep sharp on our skills where we're still fighting and stuff and for two we could um you know it, we're just going to get to interact and stuff so guys this is way way better i mean obviously they're not going to make like live battles where we can actually like um you know fight in real time which is what everyone really wants because, um, you know, the game's so out of balance right now. It's terrible that we cannot actually um, make real-time decisions in battle, which, you know, caught, makes it takes real skill to make real-time decisions in battle. If you look at all the most popular games right now, they all take real-time decision-making. So, guys, at Clash of Kings, I really hope that you take this into consideration. Um, the, before I get out of here... The one other thing that we could do with this and with the events is we could create a Nations Cup for the Dragon Campaign where we have either 32 or 64 nations across the world create a 50-man roster and you, we can have a tournament um, to where, you know, to see who the best, the top, uh, top nations in the world, 50 versus 50 in the Dragon Campaign are. So it'd be very easy to set up. You could do it in the private event section 
and you could it would get the nationality um, you know roaring it would get everyone excited and I know the Chinese are very nationalistic so I, have, I see no reason why they would not want a nation's cup of the dragon campaign it would bring an esports element to the game it'll make the game more official it'll give people you know um, you know people are very nationalistic it'll give people something to cheer for even if you're not in the event you're gonna be cheering for your country it'll be so amazing and um, I really hope that they, you guys take this into consideration so thank you for the game that you've created um, I really hope that we can make it better and you know I wish that um, you know you guys would basically um, take into consideration what the players themselves want because you're just the developers you guys are good at making money we're good at making the game fun for everybody and stuff that we want so let's work together let's create a bridge and um, yeah I hope that we can have a good working relationship and make awesome fun things for the game that everybody's gonna enjoy so thank you guys so much for watching if you can please share this video on Facebook please share this video on Twitter so that they can get a hold of it they can see it and we can try to make some fun things for this game so thank you so much for watching um, if you could hit that um, subscribe button that's popping up on the screen right now my logo or you could watch a video right there uh, where I'm doing a giveaway. Thank you guys so much for watching. Teamwork makes dreamwork. Smash the thumbs up button and I'll see you in the next one. Let's make Clash of Kings great again. Peace.